This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. You'll see we have Miss Annie here and Trudy. Hey Trudy, how you doing today? I'm great. Oh good, good, great. Okay, so what we're going to work on is something that it's an issue for a lot of people, right? What does bending mean and how much should you bring your horse over and what does it all mean? Well, here's a simple way to do. I forgot who I learned this from. But your goal has got to be when you bring, like if you're doing a movement, she should bring her, her nose over to the point of her chest, which is right here, right? Yes. Okay. Now you notice when she brought her nose over, she twisted her neck mm -hmm. when she followed me. So first we're just going to play. This is how most people think the word bending means. It's really not bending, but okay. Now bring her nose over this far. Yep. To the point of her chest. There. Now you feel she's just, you can feel she's kind of disconnected as she does it yeah. and she's just bringing her nose over. Okay, now take up contact on both sides. And we're going to do the same thing, but what I want you to do is you should be able to see between her ears wherever I go. So I'm just going to go to the point of her shoulder. How is that different from what you were doing? Yeah, except I don't quite see. Okay, everywhere. that's when you have to bring her shoulder over. Yeah, and she did. That's it. There's good, good. You feel the difference? Yes. That's what a real, you know, flexion around the inside rein and leg is. Okay, I'm now going to go to the point of her shoulder. That's right. She's stepping off. That's all right, because she, she has to learn to bring her shoulder over, right? Right. Okay, so we're going to bring her shoulder over to the point again. Whoop, can you feel her disconnect? Yeah. Good, that's a good thing. You want to feel her disconnect. I'm going to do it from the side now. So everybody, okay, that's, that's, that's where she's gone too far. Do you feel her disconnect from her back, right. from her seat? Okay, now bring her to the other side and keep her under your seat as you do it. So you can see between her ears. Good. Is that a little different than you thought it was? Yeah, she's still stepping like one step. But it's I all think right. She's trying to adjust her shoulders the that's best right. way she can. And they, that's such a good point because they have to move their shoulders at first because usually they've just been twisting their neck. Like right there, you could feel, did she bring, can you look through her ears? I, Let me get to the point of her shoulder. Can you see through her ears? No. So what do you have to bring over? Shoulder. The outside rein and leg, right? Okay, tell me when you have it. I do. Good, good. Now hold her there. I'm going to go over there so people can see it from this side. Oh, okay. That's all right. Okay, now bring her so that she's just got her nose even with the point of her shoulder. So you can see between her ears. Whoop, that's where you need more outside rein because she's just flipping her nose over. There. Yeah. Feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to try it at the walk. So we're going to walk down the long side because now you have a feeling of where her point of her shoulder is, right? Right. Okay. Have her position her to the left so you can see between her ears. Oh, it sets her down different, doesn't it? Yes. See how it changes her balance? Yes. And notice we're not asking her to drop her nose or anything right now. All you want to do is get used to feeling, seeing between her ears so that you know she's in the right place. Okay, now, yep, we're going to go around the corner like this. When you get to the straight side, you're going to do a counter bend. Position her to the right so her nose is even with her front of the chest, the outside leg, I should say. That's right. Can you see between her ears? Good. Notice how you have to ride the shoulders different? And we don't care what she does with the rest of her body. We're just, yeah, she picks you up different, doesn't she? Straight line. Position to the new side. I'm going to go behind so you can see it. Good. So you can see between her ears. Go straight. Position to the outside. So this is how you can know if you have a correct bend or not. You should always be able to, if you're doing a shoulder in or just a shoulder forward, be, be able to see between your horse's ears. And that's the way you'll know if you're actually bringing the shoulders over instead of just the neck or head. Good. Good. And continue doing it down this side. I'll go to the front so you can see it from there. That's me walking with the camera, by the way. Good. Look between her ears. Good. And straight. And now try it to the other side. What is it making you do? That's right. Gives you a different sense of what the bend can be, doesn't it? It's all right. She might overcorrect because I could have a cookie, you know. Good, good. Good, Trudy. It was an excuse. <laughs> it was a good one. Okay, now as you're going around a curve, you should be able to see between her ears the whole way. I like 
Yes. That she said she likes this and that she likes the idea of looking between the ears. Yes, yes. It makes great sense. It does. And I've watched a video where somebody was doing it is where I've learned it from. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yes, now you'll notice when you do a straight line, she tries to throw you weight. Well, you're doing that on purpose. Never mind. So normally horses on a straight line, well, you know, young horses especially will throw themselves to the outside with their head and neck. But you're feeling, yeah, you feel how it controls your shoulder now, don't you? Good. Then you're going to come up the center line. As you go around the curve, you're going to make sure you can see between her ears. And what this does is, as I said, it keeps the horse's neck straight. The rider learns to position the pole with the pole in the jaw. And it keeps the horse's weight on the inside hind. Where's her gap? Yeah, can you see between her ears? Yes. Keep seeing between her ears to your left. That's it. That's it. Well, it could have been to the right, but that's good. Okay, bring her to a halt. Tell me what you're feeling different because we're going to go into the trot next. Uh, it makes more sense and I can feel when I'm controlling the shoulders and when I'm not now because you can't see. That's right. You can't see between her ears. I know it's amazing, isn't Awful it? Easy, but, it is. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay, now we're going to try it at the trot. 